You eagerly check your budgie nest, waiting for the eggs to hatch. One by one, tiny, fragile chicks break free from their shells. But then, something catches your eye. One chick looks different. As its feathers start to grow in, you notice something. Unusual. Its markings seem unpredictable, scattered in a way that defies the normal budgie patterns. You might be witnessing the fascinating recessive pied mutation at work. This rare genetic trait turns ordinary budgies into nature's own little masterpieces, creating unpredictable color splashes that make each one truly unique. But what really makes them special? And what happens when you breed them? Stick around because today we're unraveling the mysteries of recessive pied budgies, from their genetics to the surprising results when they're crossbred with other mutations. And trust me, the outcomes might just blow your mind. Recessive Pied Mutation Budgies Explained To understand recessive pied budgies, we need to take a peek into the world of budgie genetics. Every budgie inherits traits from its parents, but not all traits are immediately visible. Some, like the recessive pied mutation, remain hidden, only appearing if a budgie inherits the gene from both parents. Unlike dominant mutations, which only need one parent to pass them down, recessive traits require two copies of the gene. That means if a budgie inherits only one recessive pied gene, it won't show the mutation. It'll look like a regular budgie but will secretly carry the gene, capable of passing it on to future generations. But when both parents carry the recessive pied gene, something truly magical happens. The chick emerges with that strikingly unpredictable color pattern that defines recessive pieds. Characteristics of recessive pied mutation budgies what makes these budgies stand out isn't just their genetics, it's their unmistakable appearance. Unlike normal budgies, recessive peds have dark, solid-colored eyes that remain jet black throughout their entire lives, never developing the white iris ring that normal budgies get as they age. They also lack the dark throat spots commonly, seen in standard budgies, giving them a cleaner, more delicate look. Their body markings are completely random, there's no way to predict exactly how the pattern will appear. Some have large, bold patches of white or yellow, while others have smaller, scattered flecks mixed into their base color. It's almost as if each one has been hand-painted by nature, with no two ever looking exactly alike. Their faces also stand out, often appearing pure yellow or white, depending on whether they carry the blue or green series genes. But while their appearance is mesmerizing, the real excitement begins when you start breeding them, because that's where their genetics truly start to play their tricks. Breeding Recessive Pied Budgies Breeding recessive pied budgies can feel a bit like rolling a genetic dice. If you pair a recessive pied with another recessive pied, you get an entire clutch of 100% recessive pied chicks. No surprises there. But if you pair a recessive pied with a normal budgie that doesn't carry the gene, none of the babies will look recessive pied. However, every single chick will secretly carry the gene, meaning if they're bred later to another carrier, the recessive pied trait could suddenly reappear in the next generation. The real mystery begins when recessive pieds are crossed with budgies carrying other mutations. This is where the unexpected starts to unfold, producing combinations that no breeder can fully predict until those tiny feathers start to grow in. Cross-breeding outcomes of recessive pied budgies. So what happens when you mix recessive peds with other mutations? The results can be surprising, sometimes even shocking. A combination of two recessive pied budgies produces 100% recessive pied chicks. A recessive pied male and a normal split recessive pied female budgie will produce 50% recessive pied chicks and 50% normal split recessive pied chicks. If you cross a normal spilt recessive pied male with a normal split recessive pied female budgie, you will get 25% normal chicks, 50% normal split recessive pied chicks, 25% recessive pied chicks. When a recessive pied male is paired with a normal female budgie, the result is 100% normal split recessive pied chicks. When a normal split recessive pied male budgie is paired with a normal female budgie, the offspring will be 50% normal split recessive pied chicks, 50% normal chicks. The truth is, when it comes to recessive pied genetics, there's always an element of surprise. 
Even seasoned breeders have been taken aback by the unexpected outcomes that emerge when these hidden genes combine in new and exciting ways. The recessive pied mutation is more than just a color variation. It's a genetic puzzle that keeps breeders and bird lovers on their toes. Whether you're raising budgies for their beauty, their personality, or simply out of curiosity, understanding. The secrets of recessive genetics can transform the way you look at these incredible little birds. So now, I want to hear from you. Have you ever bred a recessive pied budgie? Have you had any surprising genetic outcomes? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into budgie genetics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss another fascinating bird-related video. And I'll see you in the next one.